break down with 40. Well, today we're visiting with the newest member of the Orioles, Andrew Miller, and uh, very dominant against lefties and righties, and primarily two pitches, power fastball and that power slider. Can you show the fans uh, how you hold those two pitches? Yeah, very straightforward, traditional four-seam grip. Uh, yeah, pretty much the way they teach everybody to throw a baseball, the same way the infielders probably throw it to first base, just uh, as simple as it gets. And then for the slider, Again, probably pretty traditional, probably as common of a slider grip as you see. And uh, just like to feel the seam on the outside of my uh, finger and pull down on that seam as hard as I can and spin it as fast as I can. Well, and you do. And I mean, the grips are one thing, but the power arm, fastball, 95, 96 miles an hour, but great deception, you know, throwing across your body. So a lot of success here. Tell us about that transition, though. I mean, you were a top pick in the country, came out as a starter most of your career a starter at the major league level and then you go to Boston and they ask you to move to the bullpen. How did that transition go? You know it was one of those things that just I think the way the team broke camp that was the only role I had that was the only opportunity I had and you know I'd rather be in the big leagues than anywhere else so had to had to adjust and make do and all in all I think it was a really good move for me. I think it allowed me to kind of focus on shorter outings and uh, maybe work through some of the inconsistencies I'd had in the past by throwing on a more consistent basis, by being active and pitching pretty much you know any given day and showing up to the ballpark, being prepared to pitch on any given day. So I really think it was kind of a blessing in disguise. I think most starters are a little hesitant to go out to the bullpen, and uh, it seems like a, a downgrade in your job. But uh, for me, it's worked out really well, and I, I'm, I've enjoyed it and happy I ended up there. Well, I'll tell you what, this Orioles bullpen is made up primarily of former starters, Zach Britton, Brian Mattis, Tommy Hunter, you fit right in. I mean, how, how are you getting along with the guys out in that bullpen today? It's been great. You know, they've been really welcoming, and uh, it seems like uh, Darren is kind of the leader of the pack, but it's a really uh, pretty tight grip, pretty tight-knit group, and uh, they, they've they really welcomed me with open arms. I'm just trying to fit in seamlessly, and uh, you know, all in all, we're just trying to get the, you know, get the ball to Zach at the end of the game and uh, you know, let him slam the door on the other team. Well, it must be a great opportunity for you. You missed the opportunity to go to the postseason with the Red Sox because of the foot injury. And here, Baltimore Orioles in a playoff chase, and they're really in a good position. I'm pretty excited to potentially get an opportunity to get to the postseason. Absolutely. I, I got to see firsthand from the dugout last year you know, how much fun that was and how exciting that was. And, you know, that's uh, certainly the blessing for me is that I get traded to a team that that's the expectation this year. That's what we're shooting for. And like I said, just trying to trying to help, you know, handle my piece of the pie. But in reality, you know, it, these guys seem like they know what they're doing. And I'm just trying to seamlessly fit in and help them achieve their goal. So you, you had an opportunity to play with a lot of different teams. You've been a starter and in the bullpen. Any mentors along the way? Any guys that really helped you coach players? Yeah, I, you know, it'd be hard to single anybody out. I, I think, uh, you know, there's so many veteran guys that when I came up, I, I just tried to take in as much as I could, learn as much as I could, and, you know, certainly, you know, grateful for that experience. I think it's, it's certainly, you know, there's a camaraderie among guys, and, you know, the young guys come up and just try to fit in, but at the same time, you know, you can learn a lot by watching guys that have done it in the past. I, I remember, uh, I guess, one good example when I was with Detroit, I, I pitched out of the bullpen for the first time there, and Todd Jones was really helpful. You know, a guy I don't know how many saves he ended up with, but, you know, a guy like that who had, you know, 15 years in the, in the major leagues helping out a young guy is just kind of the way it works, and, you know, the young guys need to be all ears and, and, and listen and learn. That must have been pretty uh, shocking and impressive. When you signed, you signed in August, first round pick for Detroit, and two weeks later you're in the big leagues. Tell us a little bit about that experience. Quite the rush. I think, uh, you know, in hindsight, I, I wish I had been a, a little bit more aware of my surroundings. It kind of flew by, but it was a lot of fun and great opportunity. I'm really grateful to the organization for, for giving me that experience and, you know, getting to see firsthand a team in a, in a, in a playoff race, in a pennant race. And just the, the excitement and the, uh, you know, the, the buzz of the crowds in those games is incredible and really enjoyed it. Great team and felt like I learned a lot. I feel like that experience certainly helped me in the long run. Well, thank you very much for being a guest on Break It Down with Bordy today, Andrew, and uh, great success the rest of the season. Thank you very much.